solid the stumps the batsman is home now what's going to happen we're going to have a look at the third umpire is going to make a decision here we want to have another look i think everybody's watching will it be the green light to say he'll stay or the red light for him to disappear pretty close He's gone, 35 for one. It's down the ground, that's a good shot, lovely shot from Ramiz. It's pretty wet there, so it might slow, but not enough for Andrew Jones. Side edge dragged it straight onto the stumps, and at the end of the 15th over, Watson's delighted it's 43 for two. And that's going to be safely over the boundary for four. That's a very good shot from Salim Malik. So sides out first ball, Watson on a hat trick, and Pakistan 47 for three. Yes, but uh, tremendous bowling by Watson. New Zealand would have to be very happy with this first hour. They've contained them well, and all of a sudden we've seen what can happen when the pressure's put on some of these Pakistani batsmen. Two guys well set. We're seeing that again. I mean, he knew he'd hit that. You can always tell when the batter turns around for a quick to see if someone's going to catch it. The head jerks. And. It's brought me and Dad in. Oh, it's a good shot through the offside. Running away towards the boundary, that's four. Oh, and Martin Crowe's hurt his hand there. That was hit very powerfully by Javid me and Dad, and Martin Crowe's taken quite a nasty blow by the looks of things. He's hit it very fine this time, has Sully Malik. Big chase around the boundary. Lovely throw in two by Danny Morrison. That's a good looking shot. Heading out to the boundary, that's four. Beautifully played. It's Gavin Larson now with his seventh over. And strikes again. Sully Malik is out. It's 75 for four. There's a big setback for Pakistan. Another loose shot by Sully Malik, who tries to flick that one on the next side. Doesn't time it properly, mistimes it, and it goes to short mid wicket and easily caught by Martin Crow. Malik gone for 23, 75 for four. Is he worried about his form? I'm sure he is because he's having a bad patch, uh, not making runs. Well, we saw that brilliant run out earlier by Deepak Patel. Yes, Pakistan was uh, well on their way. Well, so, so, 
Salim Malik has gone, hasn't he? And he got uh, carved up by Martin Crow and Gavin Larson as Inzamam gets his first run. Well, this will be tight. Oh, he wants to have a look. Brian Aldridge wants to have a look at the replay. So let's have a look at it ourselves at the same time. And delivery shot outside of Stum near that cuts. Cuts it straight to Great Batch. And there comes the straight return. And uh, seems that he has failed to reach home. He's gone. So Imzaman's bad trot continues. It was always going to be tight. He didn't make it. And it's 77 for five. Well, when you're out of form, the breaks never go your way. 77 for five. Pakistan didn't recover and finished on 139. Javed, top scorer on 30, doing it in singles. 26 of them. Pakistan never getting above three and over. The lowest innings ever in a one-day international at Eden Park. Looking at the New Zealand bowling figures, Willie Watson, the chief destroyer, four for 27, his best one-day international figures, but really all of the bowlers. Oh, first ball, it's into the stand. Magnificent shot by Mark Greatbatch. Well, Sully Malik has swung away into the number one stand at Eden Park, and what a start. And we're away again, second ball. Well, he has another lash, but it's a no ball. Goodness me. There we are, seven for none after two deliveries. Another no ball called. And uh, Mark Greatbatch didn't seem to pick the line of that one too well. So Rod Latham, his first delivery. He negotiates it safely enough. Yes, it is. Caught first slip. Inzamam al Huck takes the catch. A good one. He was looking to turn it a bit league side ish, but got an outside edge. It flew to first slip, and New Zealand have lost their first wicket. Well, it's all happening. First over, six runs. First ball, then we see a wicket now to Waka Yunus. That was a superb delivery, that. Starting about Midland leg and just leaving Latham in the air and a bit off the seam, and he got a nick and was caught a first slip. So 10 for 1, New Zealand. He's had a crack at it. That's four. Short, a little wide, and put away. Oh, slower ball. Right up in the block hole. Jams down on it. Uh, great bench. Here's the BBE player profile of Andrew Jones. And look at that marvellous average. Well, not so much the average, Grant, but... Uh... 69 innings and 25 50s. That's, that's the record that impresses me. Oh, nice shot. He's underway, and there'll be just the one run down to Waki Yunus. Well played by Jones. Again, he'll look for a second run, and he'll get it quite easily. Great patch lifts it away, that'll be four. One bounce over the boundary. Oh, he's got again, six more. That's a second six for Great Batch. End of the over, New Zealand 33 for one. the catch great patch waits just for a moment in case it was over the shoulder but it wasn't so the blow has been struck by Wazim Akram who changed ends had great patch who was looking dangerous fending a ball out into the covers Mushtaq makes the catch and Akram has struck good break for Pakistan the ball popped up uh, from Wazim Akram and great patch not able to control his shot and pop it in the air and we we're talking about Mushtaq and here he is on the scene 
So the blow struck by Akram, great batch out for 24, New Zealand 34 for two in the 10th over. There's Akram, balls that one, a short delivery, slightly lifting, and great batch not in control of that delivery, defending, but the ball popped up in the air in the covers, and Mushtaq makes a bit of ground, takes it comfortably. Really, Jeff, uh, New Zealand can afford to a bit of time to consolidate, can't they? Yes, no question with that. It's just a matter of really batting out the uh, the overs. And if something disastrous happens, New Zealand should win the match. There's the New Zealand camp. They'll be reasonably content, but there'll be a bit of nervousness. They've still got to do the job. And, of course, uh, traditionally, the Indians and the Pakistanis, they're mystic spinners, and uh, they've really developed that art over the years. A lot of history in, uh, in that sort of bowling. And it's beautiful to see it, too. Uh, we see a lot of pace. It's nice to see spin. And Crow swings that away through the leg side. Just get one for the shot. All over patched. Caught, taken in the slips, but I think Martin Crow's indicating that it came from his boot. I don't think the Pakistanis agree. Mushtaq doesn't seem too worried about it. I think that hit the boot. Yes, I think it certainly hit the boot. And Martin Crow uh, was pretty sure that he had, uh, hadn't touched it. Nothing seems to be going right for the Pakistanis, though, does it? No, he got his foot to the ball all right. <laughs> Sweeping. Outside the off stump, but uh, no chance of an LB. He's lifted this one away. That's a good shot. It's clear of any fieldsman. And the batsman should be able to complete three runs here. As uh, Waka Yunus gets a lovely throw back. Well, this medium pace top end there has really contained the batsman. Oh, there's another LBW's gone this time. Jones right back on his stumps, and the decision goes in favour of the bowling team, and New Zealand lose their third wicket. Well, a reward here for consistent bowling. Straightened up a little. Jones playing on the crease line, even though he jumped in the air. The height was right. And the Pakistani bowlers have been rewarded at last. Yes, hard to argue about that one. 45 for three. Run down by Rutherford. So Ken Rutherford has his first run. I just think this pitch is probably a little slow for him. The ball's not coming on after the lands. Oh, Rutherford trotting forward. Really does add a new dimension to the game when a leg spinner's bowling. We're seeing here it's exciting cricket, isn't it? And, uh, especially when you've got men in close. New Zealand a lot slower, as you can see, 65 as opposed to 97. That's nicely timed. Now that could run away, and it does. What does it? No, it's a couple. Gap there and Crows found it. I just have a feeling that the way Crow and Rutherford are starting to play, that they're, they're picking up runs a little more easily now. They've been there for longer. Anything that's short, they're going through, and you can see that the, the comparative rates are getting much closer. Yes, indeed, uh, it is. And uh, Crow has made 13 in 43 deliveries, which shows that. Uh, he means business, he wants to stay there and stick around. And it could be very vital for New Zealand innings. It's a good shot from Crow, right down the ground, off the back foot, down to long arm. All the way it goes. Nabe Danjum, keeping a good line, has been rewarded. The wicket of Andrew Jones. Played back and was beaten. Oh, he's going to have to hurry this time. As Unwin throws at the stumps, 
I think Crow might well have thought this was going to be it, but he makes it. The over comes to an end with some risk. 25 overs halfway, 63 for three. And here's the run out opportunity for Pakistan. Crow taking a very tight single. Very lucky there, Crow. If it had hit the stumps, he would have gone. Well, it wasn't anywhere. He's usually a very fine thrower of the ball, Saeed Anwar. Picks the ball well, well, well up and throws it on the stumps. Just a bit wide on the stumps. That's a very dangerous way to keep the strike, Martin Crow. Swung away, he's got hold of this one. This should go away for four. Good shot, four runs. Oh, off the back foot, he's cracked this one away. It should be stopped down there, it is. But uh, a bit of aggression from Ken Rutherford. He only picks up one for that shot, but he hit it with power. And Martin Crow gets him away for at least one to start with. And that's all you'll get as Waka Yunus converges. So, uh, Javid Mendad trying a few things, but uh, maybe a little too late for him. Who knows? You can go out and get a team out in 10 deliveries, can't you? He's turned around on the leg side. This is reasonably fine. He might come back for two. Yes, he's uh, decided to do that, and he's comfortably home. New Zealand's very comfortable, and uh, Javid, I think, uh, will be looking for a magnificent catch or a run out. Something sensational. That's a lovely shot from Martin Crow. Just gets a couple for it. And uh, New Zealand creeping up towards 100 now. 98 for three, needing 42 of oh, just under 16 overs. Pretty comfortable. Shot from Crow. Fields will have to scramble. Will he make it? Yes. And two further runs to bring up the New Zealand 100. 100 for three in the 35th over. Michael Owens there and Gavin Larson. Rolled well again. Larson today, one for 20 off his 10. But it's out in the middle at the moment. The attention is focused on Martin Crow and Ken Rutherford. And again, they're going to have to face the leg spinner. So here is Jarvid again throwing his top line bowlers back in. And I guess he has to do this, Bob. Yes, he's been hoping to break this partnership. And then I think you'd find he'd come straight back in with Akram and Yunus. Rutherford pulls this one away beautifully on the leg side. Another chase. And the battle is lost. Time shot by Rutherford and another boundary. 105 for three. The target is 140. Oh, he's bowling. Rather a careless looking shot by Ken Rutherford. And Mushtaq gets the wicket. And New Zealand 105 for four. looks to be the ball that hurried on Kenny went to sweep it there was a gap behind square and that was the top spinner hurried on to the batsman the full marks to Rutherford it's been a very well for New Zealand this afternoon yes he has another 28 from Ken Rutherford 105 for four Waka Yunus to try and knock over Martin Crow. Good shot, lovely shot down the ground from Crow. He's timed it beautifully. Over tossed again. Saidam was being pushed back there at long on, so it was just a single. Sweep too pretty well, hit it well, hit it beautifully. He's off the mark, Chris Harris. It's uh, very difficult to find a gap there with an arc of field on the offside. 
especially with Mushtaq. Bowling very tight with this one shot. Well, there he's found the gap from the back foot. It's too short. And Crow gets through the gap through extra cover and takes four. What a good shot. His third boundary. It's 116 for four. 38 overs completed. Oh, finding a gap there on the offside. A lovely shot again from Harris. Crow might want to come back for the third. But he moved into that well, hit it behind point. Well-balanced shot from Chris Harris. 22 runs from 70 balls. It's comfortable, isn't it? But uh, if another wicket fell, who can tell? Harris playing beautifully off the back foot again. There's power on that. He was almost off the ground as he played it. But he whacks it through to extra cover. Crow's uncertain whether he's coming back. Harris always was. Three runs, well run. Off the back foot. Oh, super shot from Martin Crow. He cracks it away through extra cover for four. And there's his 50. Great 50 here. And brought up with a superb shot. Well, it was a lovely shot, all right. Everything was in the right place, and this man got to put away for four. Wazzy Macram, left arm over. Slow ball, he's driven. Chris Harris, he'll pick up four as well. It's slowing down out there. It might get dragged in. It's touch and go. It's over. But uh, this is where, of course, Pakistan beat New Zealand last year in that uh, fateful semi-final. Looked like New Zealand had the game, but uh, Pakistan did well. It's pushed away on the leg side. There's one at least. I think that's all. As Waka Yunus comes in. So really, it's been a pretty complete performance, Jeff Crow, today. Oh, superb, really. And um, as you say, from the toss, we all thought that possibly, uh, as you said, it was a bit of a hunch. His hunch has certainly paid off. And I, I think he sort of mesmerised everybody with his decisions and also the way he's played it, his, his positions of fielding, of fieldsman, and also to his way he's handled his bowlers. Off the back foot, cracks it through the offside. That's four. That should be it. That is it. 140. The game is over. New Zealand have won. A beautiful shot through the offside. Martin Crow cracks it away to take his score to 50. Before he'd wielded the willow, the signs were there. The prince was ready to.